hey guys welcome to my channel data driven decision in this channel i talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff if you are down for that please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos i make for data science so uh, today's topic is all about the dispersion yeah, measurement of dispersion in a data set so dispersion in a data set so how you can find out the dispersion in a data set so dispersion is nothing but the spread out ness of the data suppose in the data set so there are different different data right this is the data if i just plot us basically a scatter plot okay, over there so suppose this is the value this is the x axis and this is the y axis okay. so whenever you just try to find out the spread out values in the data set suppose the mean of the data set is something in this uh, over here suppose mean of the values is over here over here suppose this is zero this is two so this is one so mean is around this this is this is the mean value over here so we try to find out the different different data points suppose this data point or this data point this data point this data point how far they are from their mean value from the central value that is a 2 over when the x axis is 2 from there like different different data points are there they are how dispersed they are so that's called the dispersion so for this there are two measures we can easily do it that is called the one is called the variance And another one is called the standard deviation. Yeah. One is called the variance, and another one is called the standard deviation. So, for variance, how what is the formula for variance? First of all, the formula is x i minus x mean here square by the total population okay that's the variance and what is the standard deviation formula same thing we just take the square root of it x i minus x mean square by which is the you know so here x i is basically is the individual data point okay and the xi xi is nothing but the mean value mean value of the data points okay and over here n is basically the population the number of number of elements or data points okay so for this example like variance you can think, think of like this so you can see this uh, particular variance so here it just try to see the mean value or from the mean how far they are in terms of the total uh, different different numbers so for an example suppose the numbers is around one two three four in that case what will be the mean of these numbers are around four plus three that is seven plus two six six plus one that's seven so seven by one two three four that's a four that's the mean value right so if you just try to find out the variance for these four values what you can what will be the value it will be around 1 minus 7 by 4 okay so there square plus 2 minus 7 by 4 that square plus <coughs> 3 minus 7 by 4 square plus what will be 4 minus 7 by 4 that square 
you just take the sum of this then you subdivide it by 1 2 3 4 that is a fourth so this is going to be the uh, variance for this particular four numbers okay and if you just just try to find that the standard deviation of it what you can do you can just take the square root of the whole values suppose this particular value is coming around for an example around suppose 1.5 okay for an example then it will be around 1.5 root of 1.5 so this is going to be the standard deviation std that's in a short form okay so this is the uh, standard deviation value you can find out but you can ask me a question like why you are going to use the standard deviation other than the variance so both of them usually just the same thing you just uh, take the square root of the variance the answer should be something like this because in the variance what happened is that because you take the square of the different different values the unit is also coming as a square for an example suppose 1 2 3 4 over here 1 2 3 4 like suppose this comes as a year like suppose these are the age of the different different dates you have suppose one uh, one uh, uh, dog one dog have a age of one okay another one have age of two age of three age of four okay so if we just take the square and get the variance of it the value will come as a year square okay, because units are years but the year squared unit doesn't make any sense in terms of the find out the uh, what, what is the age of the dispersed age or the standard deviation of the age of the different different uh, pits okay. so in that case what you can do is that you can just take the square root <coughs> of the variance if you take the square root of the variance so that means it is going to give you the standard deviation and that will be in the form of year only not year square it will give you the same unit as which you provided over there so it is much more understandable you can uh, easily understand this particular terminology so that is why we try to use the standard deviation of it. that is the main difference between the variance and standard deviation there is one thing i like to mention over here that is called the Bessel's correction so for this example just deleting it so here you can see this i just use the an over here right this is n so i use the an as a denominator over here but whenever there is a huge data set suppose there are millions billions of data set and you just take the small portion of the data set around suppose 100000 uh, data set you are taking so in that case it is a uh, small population out of the whole population suppose over here this is a different different populations right so different 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 values are there so out of this population you just take the suppose this particular portion of the okay so in this particular portion of the data there are uh, there are only two points over there right so for these two points if you try to find out what is the standard deviation so this particular standard deviation will not come properly because uh, over here only suppose there are three points so the denominator will be three and you just try to find that the standard deviation so because it's a small population so it will not come the exact uh, value which should come right uh, because this is a small portion of the sample you are considering like with the different different experiments you have come up to the conclusion that it is not giving the exact uh, like exact uh, population uh, variance of standardization in that case what you can do is that you can just uh, you can just minus one so suppose n is the number of population here so n is the population in the population and you just give, uh, subtract min one from this so it is going to be like n minus one so it is going to be like uh, uh, denominator
okay small denominator so it is going to be around 2 so if you subdivide any value by this it is going to it will be more realistic to the exact scenario so that is called the basel's correction actually So it is going to be the basal correction so basal correction is required when we need to <coughs> get a uh, small sample of the data set to find out their uh, dispersion of the data and uh, center tendency of the data so in that case the basal correction is required so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos i make for data science thank you for watching my videos thanks